We know very little about the universe. That isn't a slight on the intelligence of the human species, it's just a matter of fact. The universe is so expansive that it's difficult to know much about it at all. Obviously, we know some things about it. At least 25 things, if everything on this list is true, and at the time of this writing, it is. Humans have been forever pondering our place in the universe. We've constantly been trying to figure out the how and why of everything, and we learn more and more every day. Maybe one day humans will learn everything there is to know about the universe and its infinite mysteries, but sadly, that will likely be thousands of lifetimes from now. For now, we could just be fascinated by what we do know, and that's what we'll look at today. I'm Mike with List25, and it's time to put on your spacesuit, Space Rangers, and get ready for 25 mind-blowing facts about the universe you need to know. But before we begin, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell. With that out of the way, let's go. To infinity and beyond. Twenty-five. The universe is expanding. Despite the universe being full of stuff, the space between is a vast void of nothing. You'd be surprised to find out, though, that the nothing between all that stuff is expanding. The universe is forever expanding, and has been since the dawn of history. While space is ever expanding, we never move through space. We move more in space. It's often compared to a loaf of raisin bread. The loaf is the universe, and we are the raisin. The raisin never moves from its space in the loaf, but the loaf grows and expands, making the space in between other raisins greater. The universe is just one big loaf of bread, and the bread just keeps getting bigger and bigger. 24. The universe is old. The universe is around 13.8 billion years old, give or take a year or two. Scientists arrived at this number by measuring the ages of the oldest stars and the rate at which the universe expands. They measured this expansion by observing the shift in light from galaxies which are all moving further away from each other. The further away the galaxy is, the longer it takes for the light to travel to Earth. 23. We won't be able to see any stars one day. As I mentioned before, the universe is ever expanding, and because of this, it takes light a longer time to travel to Earth. This means that one day we won't be able to see the other galaxies or stars in the sky. This won't necessarily mean they're dead, just that they're now so far away that we can no longer see them. This, of course, is in the far distant future, much further than any of our lifetimes. Unless, of course, you're watching this from the far off future, in which case, uh, fun fact, we used to be able to see lights in the sky called stars. 22. The universe is expanding faster than predicted. Now, as the universe expands and the galaxies get further away, a strange phenomenon is occurring. The rate at which the universe is expanding is getting faster. The Hubble telescope observed that the expansion rate is going much faster than scientists predicted. The scary part is, no one knows why. The universe is just getting bigger and bigger, faster and faster for no well-explained reason. Scientists have plenty of theories as to why this is happening, but no one knows for sure, and there's not any real way to study it right now. Maybe in that same far distant future I just talked about when you can't see the stars, but right now, no. 21. Dark Energy and Dark Matter The universe is made up of roughly 68% dark energy. Dark matter makes up about 27%. The rest, everything on Earth, everything ever observed with all of our instruments, all normal matter, adds up to less than 5% of the universe. Now, you may be asking us what dark matter and dark energy are. Well, I wish we could tell you, but more is unknown than known about them. Einstein theorized that it was a property of space, but we're still trying to figure out what that means. What we do know is that as the universe expands, more and more of this dark energy and matter is created, which is a little mind-boggling, considering we believe that matter cannot be created. Where does it come from? Nobody knows. Yay. 20. We can only observe 5% of the universe. The Hubble telescope has allowed us to observe a massive amount of space that most people couldn't even comprehend dozens of galaxies and thousands upon thousands of stars. But that only makes up just 5% of the universe. 
Whatever is beyond that 5% is a mystery to the smartest minds on Earth. As the universe expands, we know less and less of what's really out there in the universe, and that concept alone can drive even the most sane minds mad. For everything we think we know, we really know so little. 19. There are three types of galaxies. Astronomers classify galaxies into three different types, elliptical, spiral, and irregular. These galaxies can vary in size and amount of stars they have in each category, but we use the three. Ellipticals, which account for about one-third of galaxies observed, can vary from nearly circular to very elongated, and they possess comparatively little gas and dust. They also typically contain much older stars and aren't actively creating new ones. Spiral galaxies appear as flat, blue-white disks of stars, gas, and dust with yellowish bulges in their centers. These galaxies are divided into two groups, normal spirals and barred spirals. Uh, this is what our galaxy, the Milky Way, is classified as. Irregular galaxies, which have very little dust, are neither disk-like nor elliptical. There aren't many of these galaxies still around, as they're mostly galaxies that are still forming into one of the classifications. 18. Our neighbor is going to eat us. No, I'm not talking about your suspicious neighbor Steve who keeps asking you to come over for dinner. I'm talking about the Milky Way's neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. We are set on a collision course with Andromeda, and it has an extensive history of consuming or eating other galaxies that do so. This is lovingly referred to as galactic cannibalism, and the Andromeda Galaxy is one of the biggest galactic cannibals that we know of. 17. The Milky Way might be a galactic cannibal. If you're angry at the Andromeda Galaxy for possibly eating our galaxy, well, don't get too angry, because it's very possible that the Milky Way is also a galactic cannibal. Galaxies tend to grow by consuming other galaxies, and there's some substantial evidence that our galaxy has done this in the past before. It would make some sense, considering while we aren't as big as Andromeda, we are comparable in size. The only real way to figure out if the Milky Way is guilty of consuming other galaxies as well is to further study the Andromeda Galaxy's history and origins to see if there are similarities in its history to ours. 16. How big is our galaxy? Speaking of our galaxy, the Milky Way is about one quintillion kilometers across. This translates to about 100,000 light years. To put that into perspective, the nearest galaxy to us, Andromeda, is roughly 2.537 million light years away from ours. So, while Andromeda may one day eat us, it's gonna take a while to get here. That's just our little corner of the universe. It's nearly impossible to imagine just how big it really is when you look at it in that way. 15. Black holes are at the center of almost all major galaxies. At the center of the Milky Way lies a supermassive black hole, and this isn't an uncommon occurrence if astronomers are to be believed. It's believed that these supermassive black holes lie at the center of virtually every large galaxy in the universe. They're able to determine this by measuring the effects they have on the stars and gas around them. 14. There are around 100,000 million stars in the Milky Way. While astronomers aren't able to give an exact number of stars in our galaxy, they have been able to make an estimate. And they've estimated that there are somewhere around 100,000 million stars in the Milky Way. And they've been able to make this estimate based on the current research we've already done on our galaxy. They first determine the galaxy's mass, and from there they figure out how much of that mass is actually stars. Most of the mass of a galaxy is dark matter, so they have to observe how much light is emitted in the galaxy. Then they're able to finally make an estimate of how many stars are in our galaxy. It's all very complicated and scientific, but it's pretty neat. Until we won't be able to see those stars anymore, so all that counting for nothing. 13. We have no idea how many stars are in the universe. As we explained, it's a pretty lengthy process to just get an estimate of how many stars we have in our galaxy alone. Because the universe is so big, because we're only able to observe a very small portion of the universe, and because we just don't have the technology to do so, we are unable to even guess how many stars are in the universe. There are millions upon millions of stars in our galaxy alone, and there are thousands more galaxies beyond ours, so it's impossible to put into numbers just how many stars there could be. Probably at least five. That's my guess. 
I, I'm not wrong. There are at least five, maybe six, maybe 12. There was a massive water vapor bigger than all of Earth's oceans in space. Scientists have recently found a massive cloud of water vapor just floating in space. This water is over 30 billion miles away from Earth in a quasar, a massively powerful cosmic body. The difficult thing to wrap your head around is just how much water this mass has, as it contains at least 140 trillion times the amount of water in all the seas and oceans here on Earth. Could you even imagine a mass of water floating in space that is larger than all of Earth's oceans? Keep in mind, we haven't even begun to explore the majority of our own oceans, but that's a whole different video. 11. The moon is slowly drifting away from Earth. Now we zoom in much closer to us and look at our moon. The moon that controls all the tides of the oceans is slowly growing further and further away from Earth every single year. In fact, the moon is moving approximately 3.8 centimeters per year. This wasn't always the case. So something has caused the moon to start slowly drifting away from Earth. And while scientists have plenty of theories, well, they aren't exactly sure why. One day, the moon will drift out of Earth's orbit, meaning that it will spiral out into space and Earth will be left without a moon. It's actually pretty scary to think about, but thankfully it'll take billions of years to happen. You know, such so long as the Andromeda galaxy doesn't consume ours by then. 10. We've been receiving radio signals from space. It's a widely known fact that there is no sound in space, but that doesn't mean that sound can't travel as we've been receiving radio signals from somewhere out in space for decades. We don't know where these radio signals are coming from, but they happen very frequently and can sometimes last up to five minutes. In fact, for the last 35 years, we've been receiving the same radio signal every 20 minutes and no one knows where they come from or what they mean. Scientists have plenty of theories about where these signals come from, ranging from signs of extraterrestrial life to energy readings from neutron stars, but we may never know for sure where they come from. 9. The Sun takes up most of our solar system. I've talked a lot about the size of things in this list, which is fair, because when it comes to our perception, things that seem very big to us are microscopic when it comes to the universe. Our solar system takes up so little of our galaxy, and what's even crazier is that our solar system is predominantly taken up by our Sun. The Sun takes up 99% of our solar system. So all of Earth, all the oceans, buildings, and Mountains take up less than 1% of our solar system. When we look at things like that, our problems seem a lot smaller in comparison. 8. There is actually sound in space. I know I said earlier that it's a widely accepted fact that there is no sound in space, but that's really just a misconception. Really, the sound in space is just so low that it isn't audible to human ears. In fact, scientists have discovered sound from a black hole light years away from Earth. The sound registers at 57 octaves below the note middle C, and scientists even shifted the octave up so that our ears are able to perceive it, and it's just as wobbly and weird as the entirety of space. The strange thing is, it sounds almost sing-song-like, despite its strange composition. It's really a sound to behold. 7. The Average Temperature of the Universe Just like every household has a different temperature that that thermostat stays at, the universe also has a temperature it likes to stay at. And we can't even attempt to change the thermostat in that one. The average temperature of the universe sits around 2.7 degrees Kelvin, which translates to negative 455 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 270 Celsius. Far too cold for a normal human to take a spacewalk in without some serious protection. 6. The universe is getting colder. On the subject of the temperature of the universe, while we know the current average temperature of the universe, it's going to get colder over time. As I said earlier, the universe is expanding. And as it expands, its temperature lowers as the space between space cools. This expansion, while getting faster all the time, is so small to the universe that the temperature is lowering at rates that are slow to us, but that's only because we don't live very long compared to, you know, the universe. 5. The biggest star in the universe is much larger than the sun. 
Our sun, the thing that gives us warmth, life, and sunburns on hot summer days at the beach, is only considered a dwarf star. The biggest star in all the universe that we know of is a star called UI Scuti. It resembles our sun in looks, but it's referred to as a variable hypergiant, and it's much, much larger than ours. In fact, you could fit almost 5 billion of our suns into UI Scuti. And if that isn't mind melting enough, let me put it into further perspective. More than a million Earths can fit into our sun. So the next time you're applying aloe to a fresh sunburn, just think about how much worse it could be if you were orbiting around UI Scooty. That sounds like a college. Go UI Scooty! Let me know in the comments below what the mascot for UI Scooty would be. Four, there's a planet made of diamonds. The planet called 55 Cancri E is a planet that was discovered near a star in the Milky Way, and it's the first planet that has almost an entirely different makeup from Earth. Scientists say that the planet is composed mainly of carbon, in the form of diamond and graphite, as well as iron and silicon carbide. At least one third of the planet is made of pure diamond. 55 Cancri E is one of five planets encircling a sun-like star called 55 Cancri, how original, which lies about 40 light years from Earth, but it's the only one made up of pure diamond. Three, if two metals touch in space, they bond together. If two pieces of the same type of metal touch in space, they will bond and be permanently stuck together. It's called cold welding, and it happens because the atoms of the individual pieces of metal have no way of knowing that they are different pieces of metal. So when they touch, they just simply join together in one lump. This doesn't happen on Earth because of the air and molecules around the two separate pieces. It allows them to differentiate from each other so they don't bond to one another. Two. Stars don't actually twinkle. <sighs> Sorry to point out a major flaw in everyone's favorite childhood rhyme, but it's true. Stars don't really twinkle. We see stars twinkling in the sky because of our atmosphere. When the starlight reaches our atmosphere, it's affected by winds and differing temperatures around the world. This distorts the image and makes it so that down on the ground, we see the twinkling of starlight. One, how the universe was made. Our universe began with an explosion. The Big Bang, as it's come to be known on Earth. It started with extremely high density and temperature. Then space expanded, the universe cooled, and the simplest elements formed. Gravity gradually drew matter together to form the first stars and the first galaxies. Galaxies collected into groups. Stars died in supernova explosions, the remnants of which formed new stars and enabled the formation of rocky planets. We don't know how or why this Big Bang happened, and we may never know. If all the research we've gathered about the universe is any indication, there likely isn't any reason why the universe formed. The universe is full of unexplainable and incomprehensible things, and perhaps that's just the way the universe is. So, what are some of your favorite facts about the universe we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content, join our Discord, become a member, check out my social medias in the, in the description below. There's a bug, go away. <laughs> um, also, we have an announcement coming. It's kind of actually fun. I'm really excited for this one. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. Stay tuned. Unless this video gets published after the announcement, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much. I love you all. Couldn't do this without you. And as always, I'll see you next time.